Hi, somebody um, asked me if I'd do a little video on how to make one of these ornithopters. I can't remember whether I got these dimensions off the internet or I made, up, made it up myself. But anyway, you've got the, um, the motor stick, then you've got the, the support with the crank down here. Go into a rubber band. And up here you've got two pivots on either side of this post which will come up to the wings. Then you've got a sort of a Z shaped bit of wire there and there. For the oh, I'll do that there so you can see it. So they can be attached to the connecting rods there and there. And then on the back you've got a tail and here you've got a keel for the wing. And then you just put some plastic on there. So that's the basic idea. Um, I'm going to have a go at making this one out of cane rather than carbon fibre and use some plastic uh, shopping bag for the wing. So the dimension I've got of this one is the wing leading edge is about 7 inches. The pillar is about 2 inches high. I'm going to have to measure it because I don't know the rest. From the pivot to the centre there is about an inch. Um, the motor stick... Oh, what am I measuring the drive for? The motor stick is... Um, that one's about five and a half inches. If you work in metric you'll have to convert these. And the tail, well it doesn't really matter on the tail. I think I've made that about, it's like about five inches. Six. What else? Oh yeah, the connecting rods. The connecting rods are... About two inches. And the throw on the crank about half an inch. So the crank is like this. So that diameter, that dimension is around half an inch. You can make it a double throw crank, so looking from the front, it will go to the first um, crankshaft comrod, not crank, and then another one to the second connecting rod. That's just to make the wings rise and fall more equally, but it doesn't matter if they're on one, it'll still work. And I'm just going to copy this one. So if you just, all you need is a sharp knife, and just roll it. As you leading edges. So what you want to do now is split the cane. So just got it in half and then into quarters. Oops. Gets a bit bendy now. What's done it? So that's not done very well actually, it's um, gone off at the end. But cane's cheap, so just keep doing it till you get the right ones. Um, on the ends of these you could probably pare them down a bit. The motor stick, you could probably get away with using that actually. 
The tricky bit is going to be attaching the post there because it's quite a small section. But let's see what we can come up with. So that's going to be the motor stick. got one flat on it which is the outside of the cane so what I'll do is I'll just knock a bit off the other side opposite I think the best way of doing doing this getting to size is just to sand it down anyway, I'm going to turn it off turn the camera off again because if you watch every single stage of this you'll probably fall asleep before it's finished right that's the post that I'm going to use and there's the motor stick so I need to stick those two together now and then reinforce it somehow because there's quite a lot of oops someone at the door so I'm just going to glue that together with a bit of super glue just to tack it in place really Mm. You want it about? Whoa! Hang on. About there. Okay, that's sort of tacked in place there. What I'm going to do is, I've got some thin bits of cane here. I'm just going to glue a couple of bits on either side, and then I'm going to bind it with cotton. Right, I've just put a couple of bits either side. Look. So I'll clamp those with a peg and when it's dry wrap a load of cotton around it. Right, you can see that I've just wound cotton around it and then some super glue on it. Right, the only problem with this is the bit where the tube's going to go for the, um, the shaft is a bit narrow so I'm going to double it up by adding another bit of um, bamboo there and I'll just bind that with cotton as well to keep it in place so that's that just bound in place with a bit of cotton and covered in super glue the wing spar, the keel, whatever it, you want to call it wants to be attached to that it's got to be fairly strong because the cranks and uh, the pivots for the wings attached to that so I'm just going to attach that there um, try to strengthen it somehow well, I suppose the best thing for that would be to add a little gusset in the corner there which I'm loath to do because I can't be bothered actually so I've got a little gusset from the um, from the cane you don't need any special tools. Your wife's um, French cook's knife makes quite a good cane cutter, actually. Okay, so you see that's glued in place. I bind that with cotton just to make it a bit stronger, and that then that's your basic um, frame done. The next thing will be to add the two tubes either side for the wing pivot and a tube at the bottom there for the crankshaft to fit through it's pretty easy really, this is only taking me, taking me about 15 minutes so um, like I say you don't need any fancy tools to do it with just a knife and a bit of sandpaper so that's that, just bound with a bit of cotton, it doesn't have to look very neat for the tube, I've got some thin wool brass tube here um, which is ideal for the job but uh, for the well you could probably get that from an old aerial on a radio or something like that but what you can use is um, some plastic um, insulating um, you know from a wire plastic insulating from a wire that would probably do the job Although not for the motor tube, for the motor tube, but the one that goes at the bottom, you really do need something that's going to act as a bearing. So 
this takes quite a bit of axial load so that's got to be um, really it needs to be metal tube there mm. the best way to cut the tube in is just to roll it with a knife so there's one bit I've already done so it doesn't have to be exact and just oh, take the boards wet so it's slipping if you just roll the blade across the tube It will ah oh, there we go. So I need three of those. Where the tube fits on the bottom, if you can just notch it with a file, I've got a square section file there. Put a little notch in there and it'll give the tube more to give it a little groove to sit in. So that's that's just stuck on there with a bit of super glue, but again it'll need strengthening. So you can wrap that a lot with cotton as well. So that's wrapped in cotton. Then what you do is just wrap it around and then just rub some super glue into it. And it should uh, should be okay. And that, that weighs next to nothing at the moment, which is important. You always need to keep the weight down on these things. Um, I was surprised how, how lightweight it can be made with bamboo actually. I've stuck the two top tubes on with some um, polyester resin. You know the stuff you fill cars with and what have you. For the wing pivots, I'm just going to use some paper clips. I think you're going to need something a bit stiffer for the um, crank. And I don't think a paper clip's going to be strong enough. So that's two Z shaped bits for the wing pivots made out of one paper clip. They were. About an inch long. You've got the longer part is is the pivot tube. It's going the pivot tube, and the shorter part will go on the um, on the connecting rod. So there's the two wing spars with the cranks bound to them. Not the cranks, you know. Those are the bits. Whatever they're called, that's what they are. That's your flappy bits. But the next bit is going to be tricky. It's the crank. It's tricky because you need some stiff wire. Um, I've got a slightly bigger paper clip here, which may do the job. It's very soft wire. You need something that's not going to deform when you, mainly when you're winding it. It won't go in the bloody hole either. Oh yeah, it's just in. I'll give that a go make the crank. I'm, I'm just going to make a single throw. So there's your crank. Just bent it with some pliers. So now that will have to be put in to the tube and then a hook formed on the end. There's your little hook for your motor. Use a bit of bamboo for the connecting rods. I've sort of flandered, sanded it to a flattish section there then I'll just chop it off and make a couple of holes in it. I do have some small drills for that but if you haven't got a drill then um, probably heating up a bit of wire and poking it in and burning a hole through it probably do just as good a job. Okay so that's your basic uh, framework bar the tail. You see if you've just got one crank then the Rotate the flapping of the wings is not symmetrical, but I reckon it'll still work. So now I've just got to make a, a hook on the back, tail, cover the wings in plastic. I've just bent those pins over a, a bit either side just to stop the um, connection rods coming off, that's all. I put a hook in the back and a bit of wire coming out so we can attach the tail to the hook to the wire and then that allows you to adjust the angle of attack of the tail to trim it out. Uh, the next thing is going to be attaching oh sorry get 
over. There you go. So that's a middle bit done. Pop that off. Never mind. I'll just trim this up later. Where's my other bit of wing? There's the tail feathers without any plastic on. I've just joined them together with a bit of balsa wood in the middle. I was I was trying not to use any balsa just to see if I could do it, but I couldn't find a way of attack of um, making a V strong enough. So I'm just going to glue the wire on the back of the fuselage onto that bit there. And then so there's, there's the tail. Got some writing on because I didn't have enough plain plastic. Um, I've taped on. It's quite stiff. Pretty light. Could be lighter but never mind. Um, so there you go. One completed bird. Um, I'll put an elastic band on it in a minute, see if it'll fly. The problem with this is I've made the cranks too short. So that's the amount of up angle, but the amount of down angle is much too severe. It's making it unstable, so it needs longer connecting rods. But I can't be bothered to do it, because you've seen how to make one. and. Um, it's up to you to sort it out when you're trimming. But to make it more stable you need more up sweep than down sweep. It needs trimming out and like I say I can't be bothered to do it at the moment. But it will go with longer connecting rods.